Hey guys, VTech here, Blueberry Hill. So here we are, uh, containers are all set and we're moving on and forward. Um, here I am doing uh, some blasting work. I'm um, doing a little bit of real time and then I'm going to speed things up. Um, basically we blasted the entire underneath of the containers. And then we put some uh, Cora Seal and Skyco Rust Resolver on the bottoms. Um, and on the plates um, and then we start welding up the things so there's a kind of a process I wanted to clean everything up and then start welding things together and then later on in this video you'll see me uh, stitching the upper side of the containers together um, to make them weather actually structurally sound plus weather uh, proofing them so we can cut the inside walls out and uh, not have a roof on it while we do that but anyway enjoy talk at you later So here I'm using the uh, Cora Seal C uh, Rust Neutralizer. This is the areas that I couldn't get to uh, before the containers were set. Um, so uh, they were blasted in most cases, but I didn't have enough Cora Seal. I ordered uh, this is a second five-gallon uh, jug of it. I like this stuff. It's safe to use. Uh, it's easy to use, um, and you can tell when it's working. It just turns everything uh, all the rust and metal black. Um, so um, I kind of dug the product. Once I ran out of this, I actually moved to a different product called Skyco. It's a phosph phosphoric acid rust neutralizer. You have to take uh, a little safety precautions for that because it's definitely an acid. Um, didn't like using that too much, but it did a pretty good job as well. Uh, so, anyway, both both methods work. Uh, one's more expensive than the other, and uh, choose the one you like. So 
the stuff goes pretty far uh, when you're spraying. I sprayed the outside of the containers first, and I started spraying the underneath. I don't think I took videos of me spraying the underneath side, but uh, it went... I did about two or three, maybe like four containers underneath, and I have to go to the other product. Um, the other, the Skyco product is about 25 bucks a gallon. The Coro Seal is about uh, 50 bucks a gallon, so double the price. Um, with all safety things in mind, I definitely didn't mind using Coro Seal. It's much easier to use and visually pleasing. So there. So after some of the sealing I had to, uh, I noticed that the, the green container I see on top of the blue, I forgot to put a shim underneath it on the back side uh, because the, the corners of the containers are half inch lower than the rest of the container, the I-beams at the bottom. Um, and uh, so I had to jack it up, figure out how to do that without spending too much money. So I basically jack, used my two and a half ton truck jack. Um, yeah, it looks kind of safe, right? <laughs> but anyway. I was taking my time, going slow, and slowly jacking the thing up. I wasn't quite on the corner, um, so it took a little more effort with the jack. Got the half-inch shim underneath it, and uh, I was good to go. So I just didn't feel like hanging on it like a like a chimp, but uh, got the got the work done. <laughs> so, anyway, so here's me uh, putting the, the shim in there. Did one or two more uh, little pumps on the jack. Got it squared in there, then let it out, and uh, we're done. So it's welding time. So now the uh, I got all the shims underneath the containers. Turns out the containers they're all slightly little tweaked. Um, we lasered the pillars several times, and they were all level. And I had to add. Put a few shims on a couple of the containers, uh, up to even three quarters of an inch. Um, but they are what they are, so we just put them in there, and I'm just welding them up. Uh, once I did all the pillars, uh, then I went to the top side and started stitching the containers together with the, the eighth inch by two inch plate. Um, I stitched that roughly every six inches, and then I used the uh, Henry's rubberized weather seal to make them weather tight. Um, this was kind of fun because there were still a lot of daddy long legs that were kind of ramping on my head and uh, crawling all over me when I was doing this. Uh, interesting bug sessions here. Yeah, a little more of a close up of me welding. No big deal. I was using a 5 30 seconds rod and a 3 30 seconds rod to do uh, vertical welds. I'm um, not sure I videotaped those pieces, but uh, all the big heavy stuff I used, the, the thick rod, uh, cranked up the welder and uh, it did the trick, I think. So I'm putting the welder on top of the first set of containers I'm going to stick together. No big deal. Tractor is helpful in some cases, right? Yeah. So getting ready to uh, weld on the top. So I had to uh, scrape all the stuff, expose some metal, and then I uh, started stitching them together. 
love my hat, right? So the uh, the helmet actually has glare in it if I don't put the hat on uh, sun, when the sun is right above. So uh, it was pretty helpful. Anyway, doing the corners, make a little square piece out of it, and uh, just welding away. All uh, 530 second rod, probably cranked up to about 140 amps, something like that. I'm applying the uh, Henry's rubberized roof sealer on uh, the sides and the top and that should weatherproof everything. In fact later on it rained pretty good and it uh, kept everything out so we won. Yay! So I'm applying a little bit of that Skyco uh, phosphoric acid stuff to neutralize the rust and then I start welding up the, uh, the top side. This is on the second floor um, and uh, basically I kind of did it. I didn't wait for the stuff to dry per se, but it seemed to work just fine, so just wanted to get it done all in one day, and so you can see me stitching all the stuff here, and then later on, the same day, I actually put the uh, 731 2020, I put the Henry's sealer on there as well, and then uh, a couple hours later, we had a huge rainstorm, and everything worked just as expected, so more power to us. Anyway, things are coming along, take another couple days, and uh, we might start cutting some walls out and moving through the containers. Um, I still have a challenge on our master bedroom which is on the other side of this green container that I'm welding on um, to get the power cord and stuff um, through everything and somehow weld the seams together on those two containers because the green one is sitting on the seam so I gotta figure out if I pull up the floor and uh, work through that. I should have video of course. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye. So welding away, welding away. Uh, so the towel for my knees, it uh, gets pretty hot up there. So if you actually lay down on the metal, it's pretty warm. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Talk at you later. More videos coming. Thank you.